Yo! Hey, we're Mill and Colin from the country of Sweden. And you're listening to Dying Scene Radio. Guys, what's, what's it like having like the hottest women in the world uh, right there? It's yeah. awesome, man. Awesome. The what Swedish, do you think? The Swedish bikini <laughs> team, man. Yeah. Do you you don't you don't like uh you know you don't ever like uh <laughs> I don't want to cross the line or whatever, but you know uh, fancy yourself some uh, Mexicans. Or some <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're Something different. Now we're all Swedish, man. <laughs> Come on, we're like we're Vikings, dude. We like the Viking women. Nice. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy, dude. Dying scene radio. I'm Bobby Pickles with Dying Scene Radio. We're here with Mill and Colin, uh, part of the Brooklyn gig on the U.S. leg of their tour yeah. uh, for the True Brew Tour. And uh, gentlemen, 2015 marks how many years for Mill and Colin? 23. 23 We're years. We're just a baby, man. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> <Yeah>. nothing. <laughs> Barely legal. Yeah, yeah that's right. In that's the right. States. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. When, when is the legal age in... Uh, <laughs> 18 is like... <laughs> the, the drinking age. Yeah. <laughs> what, what age do you talk about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's 15. 15, man. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Many bands uh, that last as long as you guys have have uh, gone through numerous lineup changes. Right. I can just go down the list. You know, you'll have like mm-hmm. one surviving member. And oh, yeah. They go by that name. Yeah. Uh, what keeps all the original members together? Uh, we, you know, we, we're great friends. We've been friends from the start. And, and we always like split everything like 25, 25, 25, 25 from you know everything we do which is so good i, I guess yeah. you know the money yeah. the money issue could could probably be a big problem for bands you know but you really keep it straight yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 25, yeah you know, 25, we're 25, from a socialist country yeah you yeah, are yeah, exactly yeah. i right. would share everything <laughs> <laughs> but but i also think it has a lot to do with uh, that we had a, a lot of i mean some good success with everything you know we yeah. started to tour outside of sweden back in 96 you know went to the us for the first time australia japan so we had, uh, I mean, we've been building this for a long time. So now we can, um, you know, we can tour the world, you know, and do this. And we have good shows yeah, and I, we're doing I, good, I you mean, know. Yeah, I, I mean, we got great lives, you know, being able to tour and, yeah. and you know, make really money, money off this. I, I mean, considering this is our job, it, it, I mean, it blows us away all the time. I mean, it's, yeah. it's amazing that we can do this. Well, uh, that and graphic design and record producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, stuff, that, right? that, that yeah. too. But, but, but still, this is our main th- thing. This is what we've been doing. This is what we do. The other stuff is stuff we do on the side, you know, when we have the time to do it. Yeah. But, but it's great to do that stuff no, too. For, you know, but, but yeah, like Matthias said, for us, Milan Colony is always the most important thing. It's number thing. one. I mean, yeah. we, I got tons of stuff. Yeah, me too. Going all the time and yeah. Matthias as well, but we always, you know, Millencolin, that's the main focus still. And without that, we wouldn't be doing the other stuff, anyways, you know, so it, yeah. it's the foundation of our whole. That lets you do all those other yeah, of fun it things. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, fun yeah. things, regardless, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's all artistic, fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. Many people call are calling True Brew, True Brew a uh, comeback album in terms of its sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, does it feel that way to you guys? Yeah, it actually does. A, a little, you know, in a way. It does. It it does because the last album we put out, which was seven years ago, uh, was Machine Fifteen. Which, you know, we were. What the hell does Machine Fifteen mean, by the way? We were. Uh, a lot of stuff gets lost not, in translation. Not, from, not, that, we, we had been a band for fifteen years yeah, when we did and, the album. And we were yeah. like, God, the That's fucking uh, Swedish punk rock machine. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, come on, man! Did you know that? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> It was seven years between True Brew and your last studio album. Yeah. Um, how long do you anticipate fans are going to have to wait between True Brew and your next studio album? I think it will be much shorter since yeah. the, since the, the last one. We, we kind of find. I think on this record, honestly, it feels like we kind of found. We found our, our sound and we're happy with it. You know, in Machine 15, we were still trying to push it somewhere. You yeah. know, trying to make a greater production and sounding more. You know, clearer. We had like strings and stuff, but. Yeah. It didn't turn out good. So so on this album, we were just focusing on like what are our main influences like music wise when we started a band and along the way, which was like Bad Religion, for example. And then like, how do we sound live? How do we want to sound when we play the, the, the songs live? You know, and, and I what, guess we'll, what, what, yeah. what, what is Millen Colin? 
Yeah, we wanted to sound more melancholy than melancholy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. It, it was, the, 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 yeah, but, but, but we kind of it. found yeah. that, and, and it's yeah. also, it, I mean, it's so much fun, but still like a comfort zone in a way, because this is what we, you know, develop, you know, become over these years. And, yeah. and it feels like well, totally You've been honest. doing that since the beginning, right? I mean, where it started out with the three main you guys yeah. and yeah. and uh, Nicola, yeah. and then you brought in Frederick, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, who was the drummer originally? Yeah, You're the I, drummer. I mean, yeah, yeah. And then you went to, you know, you you picked up the second guitar because yeah, yeah. you wanted to recreate that music yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and it's, it's, it's that same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and, right. and our music sounds much better with two guitars. And I mean, Matthias was a great drummer actually, but but. It, Ah, we want yeah, to be, yeah, we, we, yeah, we yeah, four I mean, piece. yeah. Four piece is, is better. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Millicon rarely tours the U.S. Yeah, and when you do, it's usually in the larger cities, bigger markets. Yeah. As you can see from my stupid T-shirt that I'm wearing, um, I'm a <laughs> self-described Floridian. When are you guys gonna go to Florida? Hope, hopefully on our second leg of, of the U.S. I mean, early, we're, we're not leg. done yet for sure. I mean, we, we we're going back now for Europe and South America and more Europe. But, but then, like next year, we're gonna come back. For First sure. half of next year, hopefully, we'll we'll yeah. be in Florida. Yeah. When yeah. was the last time you were there? Do you even know? Do you remember? Yeah, but it was probably back in 2006. No, no, no. We, we did warp. Warp. Yeah, there. five. Two thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, five. Oh, five. Yeah. It's uh, only ten years, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. This is a totally random question, kind of personal. I really, a really good friend of mine, Frankie Donafrio, who went by the name of Frankie D. He passed away about five years ago. Oh, Frankie D. He was a huge Melon Collin fan, a tattoo artist from my my home state of Florida. And uh, he apparently, I I grew up with this guy, yeah. He he apparently brought his tattoo gun with him to one of your shows or something, and you each tattooed your signatures onto his leg. Do you guys remember this event? Whoa, 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 he's dead? He died, man, five years ago. When I moved to New York, I moved to New York, about a week later he died. What happened? He, nobody even knows. Nobody. He he, uh, he was he was in the middle of texting his girlfriend, and he just he he just died. I don't they, they didn't even say it was like a heart condition or anything. No autopsy was done on him. Wow. He was kind of mobbed up, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I yeah. I really don't know what's I mean, going. It, it, on. What's it, it, the deal with Frankie? I mean, you, you guys, you guys, he, he was he, friends with you yeah, guys, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but we we have it on, on camera actually. You do the, the, yeah, the yeah, footage yeah. because we're, 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 we're doing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah we at, at his shop. We we did the Pancorama tour together with two thousand, yeah. Vision, Oscar, and Temple Pole. Oh wow! Oscar. Yeah, uh, and uh, and right outside of the the, the show in St. Pete, a guy just pulled up in it like a pickup, and yeah, it's yeah. like, "Hey, come by my tattoo, tattoo shop." Yeah, yeah. And blah blah blah, tattoo, and we're like, "What did he mean? Did, did he offer like uh, you tattoos, know free tattoos yeah. or something?" It's right up the street. Okay, let's walk over there. So we walked over right there. around the corner from Janus Landing. Exactly. Probably, that's where you probably yeah, yeah, played yeah. at. Yeah, and he was yeah. like. Okay, I want to tattoo your autographs. We're like, well, okay, that <laughs> seriously, yeah, crazy. And then we started to write our autographs on a piece of paper. And yeah. He's like, no, 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 you're gonna tattoo, tattoo your, yeah. your autographs on, on my leg. <laughs> I remember when I did mine, I was like, it looked so bad, man. I was so embarrassed. Is there any way to get that video? Where do you have it? You have it somewhere? I have it. I have it on like an old DVD. Is it on some? Yeah. Can you put it up? Can you put it up somehow? Yeah, I will actually because when I did. I did like a small video for uh, about the recording yeah, of yeah. Penridge Pioneers, so I found it on, on some DV tapes there. So I have it somewhere. But, but it, yeah. it, it, it's weird because this is the tour story that we always bring up when people are telling us about. Tell yeah, us, well, what's, tell, the cra- what's the crazy? Tell us something crazy. crazy. That then, I mean, I was I was thinking about that guy right before we left. Dude, it's sad, man. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, so, yeah. And and you know, he was he was like you know a minor celebrity. He like tattooed Paris Hilton, all these big timers, Kat Von D. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was really making it, and uh, that happened. Just what, he t- t- tattooed Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton, yeah, a lot of yeah. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then we go back from Florida to LA. And I still, stuff. I still oh, got okay. a shirt that he gave us. Yeah, the, the my, Dodger, the Dodger shirt. shirt yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Oh wow, I didn't know. I, uh, that's sad, yeah. man. That's, that's really so sad. sad. To hear. Oh, yeah. Um, where do you feel your following is stronger, U.S. or Sweden or Canada? The same. Wow. It's big up there. The, the yeah, yeah, but, but Can- Canada is a little bit bigger than the yeah. US. I mean, the, the, the East Mon- Coast. Montreal. What is it like that Quebec. punk rock like? Uh, you know, it's like this a suburban thing. You know, right? Yeah. The more yeah. suburban, like you'll notice it. This guy's uh, from freshly here in New York. Oh, yeah. You know, <clears throat> L.A. 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 Okay. <laughs> and you and, and you like know, a like suburb to New York. <laughs> 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 no, no. 
Yeah, I feel like you know, like well, like you know, out in Cali, like everybody loves it up there. I mean, California is can, can, all we, about punk. Yeah, we, but we it just, just came from California now, and California is great. It's yeah. always been a really, really strong market for us, and yeah. we love we love California. I mean, our record label is there, and uh, you know, we, we recorded Pennebridge Pioneers there for two months. I mean, we feel but, but, yeah, but, but, we yeah, feel yeah, really at home yeah. in, in in LA in, by s- some reason. And we also, you know, we grew up with the skateboarding culture, and you know, yeah. Yeah. everything comes from you know the area around California. So, so the, you know, yeah. but, but but I mean, Florida has been very strong for us Florida, here too. Yeah yeah, 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 hell yeah. And I mean, now we haven't been for a long no, time. No, but it though, used but to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you I guys mean, suck when it comes to that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming uh, around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, do your Swedish fans ever complain that you guys should do more songs in your native tongue? Not really. I think they want to want us to sing in English, but they would we've done a couple of songs in Swedish, you know. Yeah, and they. they they like that, but, but I mean, it's not a problem at all. There's no, they, tons of bouncing in English. I mean, Swe- it's Swedish, a, yeah. Swedish music. Uh, I mean, ever the since scene, you may, know. maybe say the sixties or whatever, yeah. have been like fifty percent in English, fifty percent in Swedish. So it's nothing new that that Swedish bands are singing in English. I now mean, that, it's, like it's probably seventy percent in English. In, in and, yeah. English, yeah. Well, all yeah. countries, tra- uh, you know, try to try to uh, cross over to. American. Yeah, yeah, but English, I guess our, our, yeah. I mean you know? Sweden is very, very inflated, influenced by by the English speaking countries. You know, everyone speaks English very good. You know, we don't dub the movies no, to Swedish. It's subtitled now. So, so yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you yeah. grew up with, 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 with English like English language. and, and American. I do feel like you guys, for you know, you wouldn't call English your first tongue. No, right? no, no, I mean, no, not at all. But you guys really were able to transcend, you know, and and. Uh, really get that different you know a lot of a lot of bands try to do that when they're from yeah. foreign countries yeah, yeah 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 and they can't really like you guys have but um true brew sounds more akin to you guys talked about yeah. penny penny bridge pioneers yeah. it sounds more akin to that than it does uh to the last couple of records mm-hmm. was that intentional or did it just naturally turn out that way it actually naturally turned out the way i mean yeah, no. it was not intentionally in in any way but but it was just like it was time to do this yeah and, and, and we had those songs and as Eric told you before, it's we've been touring a lot, and you know you get the energy from touring. And, you know? yeah, yeah, and we did a ten-year anniversary yeah, 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 of yeah. Penbridge Pioneers, yeah. which by some reason we never went to the states, but but we did Canada, and then we did the rest of the world, but mm-hmm. not not the U.S. No. And it was here we recorded the album and everything, and it was it's our biggest album in, in we the. We didn't US. have the time, man. Come yeah, on, it's just strange that we didn't do no, the U.S. But 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 still, I mean, we, we had that freshly in mind, you know, because <laughs> when we started to do that tour we, you know after you record an album and you go out on the road you play maybe I mean 30% of the album live or 50% but mm-hmm. there's like 50% you don't even touch you know the no, chords because we got right, so many songs you know after yeah. after the studio so it, when we when we did that 10 year anniversary thing we kind of you know relearned like 50% of the songs and which was really funny song. you know and they yeah. turn out to be good live songs so I mean that ha- having that freshly in mind felt like you know we kept on with the, that sound for for the next album yeah. sounded mm-hmm. felt like really it's natural, natural for us yeah very yeah. natural thing to do many of the punk bands out of sweden and other scandinavian countries seem to draw their influences heavily from mill and colin do you guys notice that others borrow heavily from your sound who I mean, that makes well, me proud. You know, yeah, if you that. Don't notice that? Well, which bands? Well, Swedish bands. Swedish bands and a lot yeah. of Scani- uh, Scandinavian bands. That's awesome. I just noticed that there is yeah. kind yeah, of yeah, like that's great. a similarity in the sounds. Yeah, maybe. Have you noticed that? No, it's I hard mean, to yeah, notice. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's hard to notice. But but uh, you know, we were actually the first of a bunch of bands who ca- came out here touring, mm-hmm. and. Yeah. The, the the same bands are using the same booking agent, the same you know the same way that we created into you know touring here so i mean yeah. we're it's the same network you know in in a way our agent he's the agent for the hives for tons of bands you know you no know, and, and they started out touring the u.s by the same connections as as us so uh, i mean we're really close you know swedish is sweden is a small country we all know each other and everything so it's a uh, it's Maybe it's natural, but, but you know, cousins but, but hooking it, up with cousins. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but I guess it, since we've, yeah, we've been <laughs> since we've been in around bre- in yeah. red sweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but but it, it it's hard for us, you know. To you, you're saying that, but we couldn't tell, you know. No, no, actually, that's what I'm my, my my co-host Bob wrote that question. He's a stupid bastard. He doesn't, you know, everything he says. Nah, it's it's a, a, it's a he cool, sounds yeah, like a good guy. Awesome question, man. <laughs> to me, and actually, when I say to me, I mean Bob because he wrote this question too. Uh, I. 
I feel that melancholy is easily identifiable, and uh, it's really a trademarked sound. Do you guys ever consider yourselves formulaic in the way that you come up with your songs? Like, like, gotta, we, like, ask, like we have a formula. I gotta ask the asshole questions. Yeah. Like, like we have a formula of the world. Yeah. No, I mean, it's the same guys writing the songs. You, you hear no effects. You know it's gonna be a no effects, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I mean, anyway, but you, but you guys have this. No, no, but, yeah, but, 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 but like, but like, like I, I said, like before, we were trying to push our sound. You know, uh, Penrith Pioneers was a great album, but then, yeah, but, but then yeah, we're yeah. trying to be more rock and roll on yeah. home from. And by home. the way, I realize the evolution of it. I mean, I know the, you guys went from ska, right? And then you really, yeah, but we we always tried to push. Yeah, but hey, everything is natural. You do it. The song comes out, and you you do what you do. Yeah, but that's but what but it, but it's not the really very thing European you, thing to say. Yeah, but I mean, you don't really like play on like next album's going to be like this or that. I mean, it actually turns out the way it does. And, yeah, yeah, but, but you can still choose how to produce it. Like on yeah. Machine Fifteen, we we choose to to of make course, a more course. like commercial. Yeah, uh, you know. Maybe a little you know, shimmery, crisp, you know, crisp something. sounding. But but, you know? it, it's but, still, but you know, on, on this one, we wanted to sound more punk rock, but. Yeah, I mean, every band is a formula. And, and tell, I tell you, the guys who, who appreciate the formula, that's the, that's the fans. Because if they like something, they want to hear, you know, new songs sounding like yeah. Yeah, like new so uh, I love songs from, from, the, from the album we, which weren't there. You know, they hate it when you change. We get that all the time. Why can't you sound like the first three albums? You know, and we were kids back then, you know. Of course, we can't sound like that. But maybe like Penrith Pioneers, because that's what was when we like formed our yeah. sound in, in a way. So, I mean, it, it's it's so hard. I mean, bands, I mean, I, I'm the same way. You know, Rancid is my favorite band. And I think Outcome the Wolves is the best album in the world. And I like, wow, why can't, you know, I was so disappointed with a crust album. <laughs> and, and, and then, uh, and then, I mean, then they've done great songs, but, but still, I know they can't do another, you know, an Alcon Rules, but still it's so hard because, you know, they were in a certain... And you were in a certain... I wasn't... Exactly. Yeah. I, I, it I, has, everything has to do when you discover something, you know, maybe you, you like that album the best, you yeah. know, it's the same thing for and me. And they were in a certain yeah. state of mind as well, you know. Maybe, maybe some people like the first album better Yeah. for them, you know, and, and it, but it's, it's always going to be like that. But yeah. honestly, I feel kind of... I feel very proud of uh, of uh, True Brew because it feels like I love I love True Brew. Oh, thanks. It, 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 it's thanks. awesome, man. I can I can listen to it from you know beginning to end. Oh, cool. uh, ten days in a row. That's know? awesome. Thanks, thanks a lot. And that's yeah. genuine. Absolutely, I yeah. love yeah. it. But the whole process felt so genuine. I mean, we put a lot of hard work into it. Produced everything, and we, yeah. we did everything on our own. That, and that's all the artwork, yeah. everything, everything's yeah. DIY. It's really the exactly. punk. Uh, ethos. It's recorded yeah. in our home studio. The first the first video. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. All those videos, you get, did you did you have a hand in that too? The cartoon like uh, yeah. computer I, age. I had ones? a hand, but but I didn't do anything really. But I I always had the, you know, this finger has been in there. You know, <laughs> you need to do that. Need to do that. But but no, it, it's it's hard to do the videos on your own. I, I think this one is the first real one I, I yeah. put together everything on my own. You know, edited, mm -hmm. it, directed, and edited everything. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man, yeah, because yeah, those are some really good videos. Yeah, I and mean, it, it all it, it, they the, the new one is all made by these GoPros. And you, yeah, GoPros. and you did that. You did, uh, the little character with the X eyes or whatever. No, no, no not the no, new one. No, not the, that the, one. The first one we did. Yeah, 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 the first one. No, yeah, the other yeah, one is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. a total different. Story. Okay, okay, yeah. sorry. No. The, the, the other one, we, we were actually on tour. Uh, we we did like they shot the scenes with us in our hometown, but then the guy. He was a close friend of ours. He, you know, went to to here and to LA and to Paris and to Berlin, Berlin yeah. with the costume and yeah. had different car different guys in, in the in the costume. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, is it, is we, it? we 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 have the costume, so we're gonna bring him on tour. Him on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah, didn't yeah. you do that now? You should it have be that. because of you know you can't fly with too much stuff. And our I mean, <laughs> our crew our, our crew is too fat <laughs> to fit into the costume. Yeah, That's we need a, big a slim problem. guy. We need a slim guy, yeah. and we haven't found him yet. So yeah. <laughs> uh, just two more questions. Right. Um, what's your favorite Moon Collin album so far? That you've uh, done the new one, of course. A new one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean. And, and the first demo, maybe. <laughs> no, but but you know, as as a band, you, you get. You, first of all, you, you don't really listen to your old stuff at, at all, but uh, and on, everybody says like the last album, but this time around, I can honestly say that I'm really happy how it turned out because yeah. it just feels so honest.
But maybe it's better. You should ask the band 10 years after their, their last album. Yeah, have to album. have time to yeah, like yeah, sink yeah. in. Because it would be so sad if we were sitting here with a new album and say, oh, the, the second album, Life from the Plate is the best album. It would be very sad. What's your second favorite album after Trueville? Yeah, the Penerich Pioneers. Yeah, but I, sure. I like Home From Home a lot. I think that's a, a very good album that has like a mix of, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah but, but the whole recording process and everything yeah, yeah. of Penny, yeah. Penny Bridge Pioneers was something special. A lot of fun. We, we did like the Warp Tour US yeah, and, yeah. and like the follow up tour. But we're talking about the album here, man, not yeah, the touring. But, but no, we whatever. Play, we played those songs. Yeah, yeah, but I like that album too, of course, of course. Yeah. Do you guys ever read Dying Scene? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, You're aware yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, 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 of course. If you could recommend one new band or new album for the readers of Dying Scene to check out, who or what would it be? I would recommend uh, an English band called Royal Blood that I like. I think that yeah, they're kind of more rock, you know? Yeah, and they're a bit maybe too, too, too mainstream, too, too maybe. Mainstream I don't for, know. For Dying Zine, for sure. But, but, but uh, that's my recommendation. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yours. Well, it's so Rancid, hard. It's, maybe? It's so hard. No, but, but I, I really like the, the band, band who supported us uh, on the... On the West success? Coast, like, yeah, success. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I recommend them for sure. For sure. Yeah, they're really, really cool great. Band. Great yeah. guys. And nice people. That's your manager. Looks yeah. like uh, you guys are going to have to go on, here, on stage pretty soon here and no, yeah. uh, play. So I really appreciate you meeting us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Dying.